Okay, so here's a video to help you follow uh, when importing and working with image sequences in After Effects to turn them into video, um, most specifically for time lapses. So once we have After Effects open and it's blank and it's looking like this, we go to our project window over here and double click in the blank spot and it will bring up your import dialog box. Uh, I cheated earlier and got this ready, but if we go ahead and find our image sequence folder, which mine source, time lapse, image sequences, we'll go ahead and do, let's do the space needle, no, we'll do Sopris fall clouds edit, and we'll click the top one, and what's important is that JPEG sequence is checked so that it will import as footage. Um, if you have any gaps in your sequence, go ahead and click the force alphabetical order and it will overlook if you had any images deleted or gaps. Uh, it will just force it all the way through. Um, some things to note over here, it's a JPEG image and this is the size. So we will deal with the size in a moment. Go ahead and open. It's going to import all the selected items to make sure it worked. With this selected up here, you see this is a two minute video sequence at 30 frames per second, and it is this many pixels by this many pixels, which is pretty big given most HD is only 1280 by 720. So, first thing to do, I always like to note that it's 30 frames per second. If you wanted to change that here, you can. The video that we're working with, if we go to interpret footage, main is actually going to be 29.97 frames per second. Drop frame opens, that's correct, but we don't actually need to do this. It will do it in the end. We can go ahead and leave it at 30 frames per second, but just know if you wanted the computer to read the image sequence faster or slower, this is one way to do it. You just tell it to read it at, say, 18 frames per second, and it will play it slower. You could choose 48 frames per second, and it will play it faster. Basically, that's how many pictures you want it to play per second. We'll just leave it at 30. The next thing to do is we need to go ahead and create a composition. If we create new composition, and we'll call this one Sopris Clouds. Let's, and then we want to make sure that our preset is the same as your Final Cut Pro sequence. Now, I believe you are working in 1080 by, where was it? I believe this is the correct one for you. Um, the easiest way to check that, however, is if you open up Final Cut Pro, go to your sequence, and settings, it's all right in here. This isn't what you're working with. What I believe you are working with was the XD Cam, or no, I believe, yes, XD Cam HD. 1080i60, I believe this is the compressor you're working with. So if we set these to all the correct HD, I believe you are here. But I'm not 100% sure. You're going to have to check that. So I believe it was the HD TV or HD 1440 1080. And that's what we're trying to match. So back in After Effects, we want to make sure that the HDTV, we'll just go ahead and leave it at that. There's a chance you might be working in this. We can talk that through on the phone, um, but we should be good to go. Uh, just leave it HDTV. That's just that the aspect ratio, the frame rate uh, is all correct. But before we're out of this box, go ahead make sure the duration is as fast as you would like it. So, if you want this two minute time lapse to only last for 15 seconds, we'll go ahead and make the duration 15 seconds. Hit OK. It gives us this composition down here with our blank thing there. 
go ahead and click on your footage. You can either drag it down here or drag it in here. And as you can see, the images, your pictures, are a lot bigger than the composition. We can fix that in a moment. We'll just go ahead and drop down our footage there. You can see it lines up there. And we have our layer in our Sopris Clouds composition. The composition's like your canvas. So, first thing we'll do is we'll resize it. And you can always resize it by clicking here and holding shift and dragging it. That's one way. Another way is you can drop the arrow down, transform, scale. And you can do it there. Uh, one of the quickest ways is if you just right click on the layer itself, go to transform, choose fit to comp width. That way you're not changing the aspect ratio. If you do fit to comp, it will force it to fit a new aspect ratio, which squeezes it um, and makes it look squished. So if you do fit to comp width, you can see it did not squish. It's sticking off top and bottom, but it lines up perfectly on the sides. So that's about the best we can do. Uh, from here, if you wanted to move it up or down, you can go ahead and do that if you want more ground to kind of fit it in your canvas better. So as you can see, 15 seconds doesn't get us very far. Um, I can slide this along, and we have quite a bit of layer compared to our composition. So what we want to do is I'm going to go ahead and line this actually back up with the beginning. Um, just make sure that this is lined up here. And we can right click again. Instead of transform, we want to go to time. And we can go to time stretch. So from time stretch, we can put the new duration as the same as our composition, which was 15 seconds. So make sure the new duration is 15 seconds and we want to leave it the layer in point that means that's where it's gonna hold it and you click OK so what that did is it sped it up so that it's the exact same as our window which is great we don't really need to do any frame blending because we have more information than needed but we can go ahead and test it out you click here on the RAM preview button is what this button is called and it goes ahead and creates a preview since there's a whole lot of data going on um, and will build us the 450 frames that make up this 15 seconds uh, we could wait for it to finish but we can also just test it and as you can see it moves really really quickly so let's say you wanted to stretch out footage instead of shrink it down you needed uh, something to last longer and so let's say we only wanted the beginning of this to last for 30 seconds go in here to our comp settings which was command K 30 seconds the other way we can get into that is if we go up to composition uh, comp settings, you can see it's Apple K, that will get us back in here, so the duration we changed from 15 seconds to 30 seconds, so what that's going to do is make our composition twice as long as our current layer. So one of the ways you can stretch it out would be to right click, time, time stretch, and if you know it's exactly double you can do the math or you can go in here and do 30 okay it makes your layer the exact length as the composition another option you have to change the time would be to go to time enable time remapping and what that does is it plays with keyframes you can see time remap here the watch clock or the yeah the clock is on you have your two keyframes at either end it says the beginning is starts here the end ends here so if you wanted it to end sooner you could go ahead and drag this to 12 seconds and shrink this down and now the end of the composition is here vice versa if you had a layer that was only this long you did time remapping you could drag this out to 20 seconds and drag this here and that's your new end so we'll go ahead and bring this back out to the end make this that and the other nice thing about doing it with keyframes is if you wanted to play, 
you could add keyframes saying I want a keyframe there and I want a keyframe there and then if we actually bring these closer together what it's going to do is it makes it a lot faster in here and then it slows it down again so if we wanted to test the speed we will do a RAM preview go ahead and render this out it might take a little while but you'll see as soon as it passes that keyframe it actually speeds up which is awesome but we just have to let it render uh, I wouldn't recommend doing this unless you specifically know you want the time of the time lapse to change at a particular moment you can get creative but that's probably not necessary so don't waste too much time on it I just would like to show you the example of once it hits that keyframe it accelerates because we said we want less time between these two points so all of the data that was between them now takes place over a shorter period so as you can see when it gets just past this we can go ahead and test it and play it and it's nice and smooth and then it accelerates so if you had music that you wanted to cue that on and then it slows down again so it's a nice way to get it to react when you're stretching out a time lapse try to remember to put on the frame blending I can tell you more about frame blending but what that does is if you're taking something that has less information say you only have 15 seconds worth of images you want it to last 30 seconds if you put on frame blending it will go ahead and build frames in between instead of making it as stuttery in this case we don't need to worry about it because we have a lot of pictures so you'll probably only shrink it so once you get this the duration you want so once the composition settings if you want it at 30 seconds let's go ahead and change it again back down to 10 seconds and time time stretch we'll just change this to 10 seconds okay it shrinks it down goes over just a little bit um, we can clear the time remap just to make it fit perfectly and to render it out we go composition make movie from make movie we want to make sure best settings is good output module this is where we want to click on that go to format options your video codec needs to match your Final Cut Pro settings I believe you're working at XD Cam HD 1080i 60 if I remember correctly so we'll go ahead and set that and hit OK and OK and then we want to go ahead and output to this is where you save it let's say I wanted to save it in my rendered this is where I keep all of my rendered videos it's called Soapwords Clouds you can hit save and that just is the title everything else should be good to go you click render and it just begins chugging through it so that's how you turn an image sequence into a video for time-lapse purposes um, so good luck